Do you want to hold my cockroach friend? I'm going to say that her body language is suggesting this is not her pet. Who are you? My name's Sherry. I'm a veterinarian, and I've been a veterinarian for about 22 years. What are you doing here today? I am here to match up people to their pets. What makes you qualifying to match people to their pets? Not a lot, because I don't have pets. I'm not a pet person. I'm allergic to most pets. I like love animals, and let's like, Spiders are, I swear to God, if there's a spider today, like, I, I'm crying, like. You know, a lot of times it all sort of makes sense. Birds of a feather, you know, super active person, super active dog, introvert, maybe has a cat. Bunnies have a very typical, like, 40, 50 something single woman. Let's bring the light out. Pet people, hello. I'm excited to meet your guys' pets. Yay. Open your eyes. Oh, ah, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay. Oh my God, please. No problem. Let's go ahead and open your eyes. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm not scared. Oh my god. Oh, it's a bunny. Oh, I'm not scared. Oh. Okay, wait, this is cute. Not trembling, doesn't seem scared, doesn't really seem to be eyeing any individual person that I can tell. Okay, I feel like you could be a bunny person. What makes you say that? Because you're cute and this bunny's cute. cute. Strike me as somebody who would maybe put it in a stroller and go like <laughs> walking along. I feel like based on the way everyone's dressed, like definitely someone that's like softer vibes, you know, like kind of like cottagecore kind of vibes. Ooh. So I feel like that could be you. Do you cuddle with your pet? Yes. Yes. Does your pet enjoy that? I'd like to think. As far as you can yeah. tell. Can I see you hold the yeah, bunny? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm putting this as the bunny girl. Why? Look, look at that nestling. Yeah, that feels natural. That feels natural. I'm going with my gut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with okay. this one. Okay, bunny owner, there it is. Oh my, okay. Wow, is this wet or bejeweled? I can't tell. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, I knew there was gonna be a lizard. Hi. This gecko is cute and doesn't seem too freaked out that I'm holding it. Seems like it's handled quite a bit. If your pet was a high school stereotype, what would it be? The shy, awkward one? I don't, I don't know. I feel good. What do geckos eat? Uh, they can eat doobie roaches, crickets, mealworms, superworms. Uh, okay, here are the gecko person for sure. <laughs> I think they match as far as owner and pet. And slightly alternative, little outside the box, not looking or acting like everyone else on the street. You're gonna open your eye. Oh, Dove, hi. I'm not gonna bother your eggs, I promise. Is this like a, one of those little hens that you eat? What are those called? <laughs> this is a pet episode. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's talk. Okay. What made you get your current pet? I've always loved the type of animal that they are and mm -hmm. wanted to have something like this, even mm -hmm. though it wasn't super in reach before when I lived with my family. Do you want to hold my dove yeah. friend here? Yeah, of course. Oh, she does like you. I'm going with it. Jesus, oh my God. Okay, there's a cage. Okay, that's good. Oh my Jesus, oh my, what the, what? I'm sorry, what, what? I, I didn't know. Cockroaches were pets. So I will tell you that the owners of this pet do hold them. Okay. Would okay. you like to take one out? No. You know what? I have these in my room all the time whenever I'm traveling, so these are just like the homies. Wow, fascinating. You know, my general impression of cockroaches is not great. It's improving. I mean, this is a nice little insect. Look. You want to hold my cockroach friend? I'm gonna say that her body language is suggesting this is not her pet. I gotcha, I gotcha. Good okay, job. you can go back. I feel like you definitely have like a quirky, like unique, different animal. This is definitely unique. Mm -hmm. Why do you think I have cockroaches? I'm kind of going with the outside the box, maybe a little shock value. Do you want to hold this cockroach? Cockroach. <laughs> Didn't even flinch. That's a cockroach pet owner. So I'm going with that. Open your eyes. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, I'm going to break out in hives. This cat is cute. This is either a Persian or a Himalayan. What kind of things do you and your pet do on the weekend? I'm a homebody, so me and my pet be chilling at home. <laughs> okay. My pet has their own bedroom. Chilling in Their bedroom. own bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that this pet does a trick. Okay, can you show me that trick? Possibly. All right, we're gonna try to get him to sit. Hey, can you sit? 
I've never seen a cat do that before, so this is definitely your cat. How did you feel the first time you met your pet? Very happy, love at first sight. Sometimes you just kind of know. I'm gonna go with this match. There okay. seems to be a connection. Wait, you know what I forgot to tell you is that ducks are actually my favorite. If somebody has a duck, I'll be in love. Tell me more. I have this dream of having like little chicks and then raising them like that movie, um, Fly Away Home. Open your eyes. Oh my God. What the F? Who do I have left? You. You kind of actually have like a country vibe. What about me gives you country vibes? The Burks, the Paisley. Okay. Just like the natural hair. Brandy's gonna come in and give you meal worms for the dog. Oh, I love it. Oh. That was with authority. I just watched her put mealworms in her hand. Sticking with it. Is that yummy? Try and feed him some of those. Oh, little... no, I'm not. Oh, my. Ah! Just... Maybe the owner could help you figure yeah. that out. Just because of how easy it was for you to feed this duck, <laughs> I think it's your pet. Okay. How do you think you did? I'm gonna say I got four out of six. Raise your hand if this veterinarian guessed your animal right. Jeez! <laughs> okay, not one. Well, only one person? Are you kidding me? I need to see a switcheroo. Like, I need to see who has what pet. These were hard. So good. Oh, yours is the duck. <laughs> oh, I almost. Okay, well, you know, I really fucked this up. This is Mr. Brown Sugar Boba. Well, of course it is. <laughs> almost two years old. This no. makes sense now. I knew you had something cuddly. Like all of her just like cute cuddliness with the cute cuddliness. And you're kind of cute and cuddly. Yeah. Look at you in that. Like, <laughs> Thanks for letting me play with Bopa. Are you gonna go buy a bunny after this? Probably not. Oh. <laughs> I was like, where'd he go? It's my bolo tie right I mean, now. This is Gooby. Gooby. I've had him for almost two years. And he seems quite content. Oh yeah, they're It homies. is like once, you know, I thought the pets looked happy with the people I put them with, but now I see them with their real people and they look extra. I think this also kind of makes sense. Like I knew you wouldn't have like a typical pet. Why do you say that? Just like your aesthetic. Like you don't look basic at all, you know what I mean? Oh, thanks, yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this. Where did you get the duck? How long have you had the duck? So Nightshade I got with her sister Belladonna. Where do you live? And do you have a yard? Yeah. Do you have a pond? Yeah, two big parts of a pond and then we connect them with a little river that goes through our path that we have a little bridge that we made. You sound like ideal duck owners. <laughs> You're giving me a totally different look than the down home vibe. I imagine a duck person wearing like denim and like having like a car heart in their pants. Maybe that's because that's my fantasy. Like overalls, no bra, but also a hammer in my side walking with my duck. Right, so you got me right. The only, the only one I got one. right. <laughs> so this is Clifford. He's two years old. I've had him for a year now. And I actually got him on Craigslist. Picked him up at a gas station. Yeah. Very humble beginnings. His original owner was allergic to him, so uh -huh. I got the pleasure. Get up here. Hi. Thank you for being my, for being my one correct. <laughs> this is a cockroach uh, owner. <laughs> what made you get a cockroach colony? I want to the reptile convention to go get a millipede. I saw them and I was like, you know what? I wanted cockroaches. I'm gonna get cockroaches for $15. You got all of them at once? Oh uh, no, I had five and they all just started reproducing and then now I have like 300. <laughs> Do you like have names for each cockroach? No. Can you like distinguish them? I have too many, so uh. I can't really do that. Do you want to hold him? No. Okay. I, I like really hate to tell you this, but I have killed so many cockroaches in my day. It's like really bad. These guys are docile. They're non-invasive. Uh, they can't fly. You seem really well versed and I'm really happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. I am glad that you're finding joy. <laughs> Thank you. Who is this and this where is, did you get her? This is Queenie. Queenie is a gray ring neck dove. Doves mate for life. And if they don't have another dove to mate with, they'll mate with a person. So she chose me. Yeah. So this is your mate? Basically. Well, I love that yes. for both of you. You were totally right about wanting to like take her in a stroller <laughs> to the park. <laughs> See, I, I'm a good reader. It's going to totally, the animals correctly. Totally, totally. If she would let me put a harness on her, that <laughs> would totally happen. And the eggs are real? The eggs are real. Yeah, so it's similar to like a menstrual cycle where she'll lay two eggs a month. Oh, but they're not going to hatch. No. How do you normally hold her? Um, I hold her like this. Sometimes I'll, I'll let her perch on me. She might, I think she's getting kind of fussy and she might fly. If you want to try it on your head and let me know if it's going well or not. Oh. oh. Okay, what do we do? <laughs> um, <laughs> perfect. 
Oh, don't move. Continued Q and A. I don't remember where we were. Oh my god. How was that? I was surprisingly bad at that. Well, I feel a little bit like a failure, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get over it quick because these were some pretty unusual pets. A postmortem on your duck fantasy. I still am into the duck fantasy. This one's seeming a little uneasy, so I'm like nervous, but I feel like the duck fantasy lives on as, and is strengthened. Well, now when I look at them all with their pets, it makes per it all seems to make sense. And yeah, I mean, you kind of never know, I guess, who you're gonna fall in love with.